Okay, so I am going to eat in the car as well as the kids. <laughs> kids going to have this bean poppy seeds breakfast board and I'm going to put some of this patisson that is pickled and this is what I'm going to eat for breakfast. And we all had a smoothie as well. Do you know what this is? Yes, a record player. Yeah. And how did you know what is this? I see before. So you guys have a question where I get my toes. It's here. It's from IKEA and it's <laughs> it's 79 cents. So it's a good deal. I really love this one. Oh this is so cute. This is really cute. And this is the picture that I have and I asked often.
Okay, so I wanted to get back to that paste to explain it to you guys what this is. And this is basically a bunch of pepper that I've got. It's got some orange and red one in there. But every time I have some leftover vegetables, I like to grind them with a little bit of water. And either you can, either you can do this in a food processor or in your Vitamix. And this is something that I love to add to things as I cook, especially if I have to make some meat. It's a nice addition to just add more vegetables. All the leftover is used up that way. And um, it just tastes better as well. Okay, you guys, I think I did really good especially that I came from Ikea <laughs> so I only got what actually I went for Blech. and that was these two baskets and I use this daily when I do a tidy up in uh, in the rooms and I wanted to have a frame that is a wooden tone so I've got these and I have two of these already so I needed to buy those two baskets because the ones that I used, it's um, I used them up in this closet and I don't know if you have seen that video. I think I posted on my cleaning channel when I was organizing this closet for the boys for the fall, for the school start. So we keep the out of season items in there. And the reason I love these baskets because nothing can fit through between this wall space and the shelf like everything was just stuck no boxes were big enough the smaller ones that i was able to put up there just didn't uh, hold as much as i wanted to have up there so this is perfect because i can just squish them through on that opening so it's perfect I had this bold idea <laughs> to decorate the porch with pumpkin. What was I thinking? We got tons of squirrels. So basically, I am preparing a picnic table for them. <laughs> so as I edit this video, I can tell you firsthand that since then I took these pumpkins in and um, I'm just going to have a different decoration and that's fine because I had an even better idea what to make on the front porch so watch out for that it will come but for now just i'm just enjoying to see those orange pumpkins so my garden is still going strong the other thing we did we finished um <laughs> i almost said floor the ground over here so Jot can park his car inside and also we got the window so this window is gonna go to a place that we're going to share with you guys soon and this one we have to change the last window in the house that will be the kids play room slash art room area so this is a window for and this one for somewhere that we thought is gonna be a great addition to gain extra light in the house. Hungary, we grew up with a tradition to bake 
some bacon on the fire and it's just pretty much a similar thing than here in the states um, roasting marshmallow but instead of marshmallow we use bacon and it has amazing taste it is very different when we make this over the fire and we like to eat some veg vegetables with that and this is one of our favorite childhood memories husband told me that we need some kind of pan or pot that we can bake the chestnut in and I told him I'm pretty sure we can come up with some kind of solution without buying a new pan <laughs> and this is what he come up with <laughs> what can I say I think it was very creative of him it got the job done we had a chestnut on the end <laughs> 